So let's let's see if we can make this work. Let's see if we can make this work. So turn off your secondaries and uh, let's have the CV send out some planes to spot me. I'm the only one on our team, so anything that we're seeing is stuff that I'm spotting. So let's see, he'll, he'll show come over. We have no camo, so our concealment is 2.2. So he'll spot me just fine at 2.2. Okay, let's try this now. That's that. So, how, how much of a difference... Okay, I'm not plane spotted right now, despite... Clearly I should be. At what point do I actually get plane spotted? Only at past 10. Okay, let me go back on surface. I'm gonna go closer to the enemy ship, see what I can actually spot well on the surface. Because I should be able to spot them while still being undetected. So what, what's what's Moskva's plane spotting? Eight point something. Eight point something, right? And our courier is like eleven-ish. So if I start doing this dumb stuff here now, so this is basically periscope dev, where I should have I should I should see them at plane spotting range, which I do, and I should be plane detected in return. However, if I start fiddling with this. I can sit at... <laughs> I'm not plane detected, but I'm still spotting for my team. So that's broken then. Can you guys shoot me? You know where I am. Can you actually shoot me? Because I can spot while being... Yeah, so this is just straight up broken. Clearly they haven't tested this. Because I can like... I can, I can attack. I can attack. I can spot. But... I can't be seen, even with planes on top of me. Wow! That is really dumb. That is exceptionally poorly coded. That is exceptionally poorly coded. Wait, what? Where's the maximum depth? Hello? I missed the press the ball button, my bad. So I can attack while doing that, and I can spot, and there is literally zero counterplay. Zero counterplay. Goliath, do you have Hydro? TBN Air Tom, can you pop Hydro? Or can we get the Gröningen to chase me with Hydro? There we go. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. Let me go deep. Okay. Try to shoot me now. Shoot. Like, deal damage to me with your guns. So I'm also in the gun immunity zone. Which means... The guns can't deal damage to me, but I can spot everything on the surface as I want. Even when they literally deal zero damage to me. So this is if you balance your... Wow, this is so poorly coded. You have to be above 10 meters, I think, to take surface damage. And as long as you manage your, your rudder and you stay below 10 meters... See, now, now we took damage because we went high enough. So that's what's supposed to happen. That's what's supposed to happen. But as long as you manage it... As long as you manage it at, what, 60 meters? Yeah, 50, 50 might be the threshold. So long as, long as you manage it on this threshold... Solved, you can just sail around like a complete bot and spot the entire enemy team. Shit, you can even attack the enemy team. And there's nothing they can do about it besides death charges. This is clearly horrendously poorly coded. Now we're gonna surface. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me. Uh, what else do we wanna test? What else do we wanna test? I mean, this is really all there is to it, really. This is so bugged. Are we consuming battery, actually? Wait, are we consuming battery? Surely we are. Yeah, but we only got 24 seconds remaining. But that is really buggy so so the, the TLDR is Wargaming in their infinite wisdom has coded it so that you only take 
damage from shells if you're above 15 meters, but you can still spot like as if you're on the surface if you're below. Okay, we're gonna surface now because we run out of battery. So, as long as you maintain below 15 meters, but you don't go fully below depth, you get all the benefits of periscope depth without any of the weaknesses of periscope depth. The ship is on fire. So, for, the, for those that missed that, if you, as long as you balance between periscope and diving depth, you get to spot enemy ships, you get to attack enemy ships, but enemy ship main gun, guns can't hurt you, and plane spotting can't spot you. Because they completely potatoed the coding. They completely potatoed the coding. Instead of making it based on your own actions, they make it based on, on the height, the threshold. So as long as you never cross the threshold, you can permanently spot the enemy team. Shit. Against the carrier, yeah, it's called dolphining. This is, I, I, someone linked it, um, a guy called, was it Eraser? Eraser, I think he is called. Uh, he's a guy who tests a bunch of dumb stuff that Wargaming introduces, which I greatly enjoy. And uh, he posted a vid about it. And he showed the plane spotting thing, and but also the fact that you can't be shot while it happens is so 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 dumb. How much like, and and like the worst part is, if you do take damage, look at the damage numbers. Yeah. So, well, obviously we already talked about this in our previous. The previous video we made, and that was about the damage. Um, the damage that we take, which is completely non-existent. I mean, 10 Des Moines shells, 4.6k, is that a joke? 6 Goliath shells, 4k, that's massive HE volleys. And we're taking basically no damage. But this, this dolphining thing, you know why it's important actually that we show this dumb stuff to Wargaming? Because this means, because um, so, CVs don't have any depth charges, this means a, a sub can dolphin behind a carrier, be immune to plane spotting, be immune to his bombs and rockets, and continually attack the CV, and there's nothing the CV can do about it. So in this case, Wargaming's protected class A, the CV is being attacked by the protected class B and there's no counterplay. So this is probably our best chance of maybe Wargaming waking the fuck up and realizing, wow, maybe these submarines weren't quite ready for release on the live servers. Maybe there was a bit more testing required. Maybe our entire concept just doesn't really work. This is like... Sheesh, this is so stupid though. Like the only thing that really spots you is Hydra. Does radar spot you if you're if you're sitting at the periscope there? Does radar spot you? Wait, does radar spot you when you do that? It does no, yes. Let's let's test that again. Q Cube. Um mm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm actually curious. Uh, well, little maple, we don't need. As long as we got the hacker here, this is fine. We can go. Yeah. No. Oh, shit. I have to wait for him. Battle faster. Is there? I mean, radar doesn't. Does radar spot even at periscope depth? I don't think it does. Does radar even spot you at periscope depth? I don't, it does, I think, at periscope, right? No? No, it's only surface, only surface. So, that means when you're doing this thing, the only thing that can spot you is hydro, but then the only thing that can damage you is depth charges, but you can spot everything within their air detection range, and you can attack everything as well. So if you run at like a, a, something like a destroyer, what is a destroyer going to do? Uh, 
Let's see, we just want to go along. Oops, we went to do. If you go below it, so it blumps below the water, then there's a very long like animation cooldown. But as long as you just sit around, sit around here. So you, it most fucking radar now. So this is like all you do. You just balance them, and I'll perma spot them, and they can't spot me. Do they at least proxy spot? They proxy spot, right? That works at this depth, right? Yeah, proxy spot works, but now if they try to shoot me, you can shoot me all you want. It won't do any damage. That seems like really well coded. So I can just run around like this with full immunity and as long as I don't mess it up they can't do anything to me except like as as long as I leave as soon as I leave proxy spotting range oh we're gonna dive too deep now as long as I as soon as I leave proxy spotting range what happens if I ram someone at this step surely just normal ramming factor right So as soon as, long, as soon as I leave proxy spotting, they won't even be able to see me. So CV has a zero counterplay. Look, zero counterplay. Can't see me. I can attack him. Shit, I can ping him. I can ping him. I can do everything to him, and he can't do anything about me at all. <laughs> this is so poorly tested. This is so poorly tested. Oh my lord, this is so poorly tested. It's not even funny how poorly tested it is. Only like when I get right on top of him will he be able to get proxy spotting on me. But even then, like, his secondaries can't attack me. Are they even trying? Is the AI even trying? No, look, the AI is trying. The AI is coded to try to shoot me. But the AI can't do damage, the secondaries can't do damage because I'm below that artificial threshold. How dumb is this? Good lord, how dumb is this? That is so dumb. That is so dumb. Like, only once we go past 15 does anything happen to us. Wow. That is so stupid. And the thing is, you gotta remember, when you do this, you're also spotting the enemy ship for uh, your team. So that means that uh, your team will be able to continually just pour in shells and shoot them. Because you're providing spotting behind enemy lines. And you're providing spotting behind enemy lines while being immune to air detection, while being immune to radar, while being immune to surface gunfire. How long have they been testing submarines? What, three years? And it's still a dog shit mess. Absolute dog shit mess. It's... it's... <sighs> They're broken. They are broken. They are so broken. Jesus. They'll fix it by forcing the sub to go to the death you tell it to all the way before it changes death, right? They're gonna fix that by making submarines horrendous, even more clunky. Because their coding is so poor, because they made an artificial threshold 15 meters. Above it, below it, like, uh, damage just stops and spotting stops. The problem is, when you have these dis different submarines with different depths, they have no idea how to balance that. So I think what they might actually do is that they change that um, threshold to something else. Or they just 
give every sub the same uh, death numbers. Wow, that is uh, that is hilarious. That that is. Thank you. Um, what was this? I, I want to get his name correct. What was it? Eraser, the guy who, the guy who tests CVs a lot. And uh, yeah, credit credit to him for for making a eraser. Yeah, that's his name. Credit to him for recognizing this because uh, this is completely broken. This is like imagine like. <laughs> Sub submarines right now in the hands of anyone who isn't completely amputated from the neck up uh, are broken beyond belief. The only advantage we have is that most players are really really bad at it, but the level of like bullshit you can pull off with these ships is completely ridiculous. Jesus. Once again, it comes down to the player base to test the horrible implementations Wargaming force upon us despite us asking otherwise. Yeah, this is it. Damage, yeah, this, this is how it's supposed to work, isn't it? Damage done to submarines. This is how it's supposed to work. If you're surfaced, you're supposed to take, and periscope, you're supposed to take this. But the thing is, when you, when you dip between these two, when you dip between these two, you get the benefits of being able to deal damage without taking damage and also without air detection. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Let's give it up to Wargaming. Let, once again, we had the CV rework. We had the CC rework. And now we have the submarines, another wargaming success story. They just keep on coming, man. They just keep on coming. How much? What? Three years of testing? Complete shit show. Still, well done, well done. Incredible, incredible. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Flavarlona, for 57, and thank you, my testing dudes, for helping out once again.